hello, my name is Shelly and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are picking up from I'm pretty sure two weeks ago when I did the worst books I've ever read according to Goodreads. Um, I'm filming these like right after each other but I'm not putting them up straight after each other. It's called pre-filming. <laughs> so today's video uh, is all about the best books I've read according to Goodreads and yeah I've um, pulled up the average writing and uh, switched them around from bad to worse from bad to worse no from bad to good so yeah let's see let's see which very hyped books I've read apparently. So starting off at number one we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by JK Rowling. Um, so this has an average rating of 4.62, 3,311,365 ratings and 75,803 reviews. Yeah. Well, that's a lot. I'm not sure the last book in that series is my favourite book, but okay. <laughs> um, wow, okay. There, there's not a lot to say about that, is it? So in number two, we have A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. Uh, it has an average rating of 4.62, which is the same as the previous one. So technically, I guess they are at the shared first place. I'm just going with the the way Goodreads are giving it to me. It has uh, 791,894 ratings and 74,294 reviews. Wow, okay, so it's the second book in the series and I, I guess, I'm not sure that's actually my favourite one either, uh, but I do know it's a lot of people's favourite book in that series. Uh, I actually don't know which one of them is mine. I kind of feel the same about all of them. I think. Uh, in, in number three we have Kingdom of Ash, the seventh book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. It has an average rating of 4.61, 256,037 ratings and 25,744 reviews. Again, is it my favourite one in the series? I don't think so. I mean, as a whole? No, I think it's one of the middle books that's probably my favourite. I'm not sure about this, but I, I do like the series. I, I like the book, I like the series, so it's... We could, we, we'll go with it. In number four we have Crooked Kingdom, the second book in the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. It has an average rating of 4.61. Uh, 470,353 ratings, 54,220 reviews. Again, is it my favourite in the series? Possibly. A duology. Possibly, possibly. I'm just trying to remember what happens in which book. So in the first one they go to like the ice, Iceland. <laughs> not Iceland and in the second one they kind of stay put mm, yeah I mean both those books have like the same kind of plot line it's just they move around a lot more in the first one do I agree perhaps not then we have more Harry Potter but since we've already mentioned one we're just gonna skip those Ooh, okay so we're at number five. Uh, we have Clockwork 
Clockwork Princess, the third book in the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. Uh, it has an average rating of 4.56, 408,272 ratings, 36,010 reviews. Again, is it my favourite one in the series? I'm not sure. Quite possibly, actually. Now, this, these books I haven't read since 2016, so it's, it's, it's been a hot minute since I read them. And I don't clearly remember what happens in each of the books. I remember them as a whole, but not, like, separately. Um, I do really, I did really like that series, though. Um, it was, like, my first introduction into steampunk <laughs> which i didn't really know what that was until then and uh, then we have more thorn of glass sea books which is lovely at number six we have return of the king the third installment in the lord of the rings by jrr tolkien it has an average rating of 4.55 786,706 ratings and 13,955 reviews Ooh, is not my favorite part though mm, i think it's the one i cry the most at because it's the end and it's, it's kind of a sad ending I, don't know. I do think i prefer the first book in this trilogy technically it's just one book but i, I do believe i think i prefer the first part but yeah yeah sure sure at number seven we have The House of Hades, the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Uh, average rating 4.55, 344,309 ra ratings, 18,237 reviews. Is it my favourite one though? Mm, I don't know. I honestly don't know which one of those is my favourite one because they all kind of melt together to one ginormous chunky book. <laughs> I do, oh, oh, I really like the series though, but hmm, sure. At number eight, we have The Last Olympian, the fifth and final book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series which is the one that is prior to the Heroes of Olympus series um, by Rick Ryden of course <laughs> so this book has an average rating of 4.53 841,515 ratings 31,284 reviews is it my favorite one though actually I think it is because that book is like the whole book is basically 24 hours but it doesn't feel like it and it feels like it it feels like it and it doesn't feel like it it's it's hard to explain but he's written all the events that happens in those 24 hours is a bit more than 24 hours i think um so well that it just flows you don't feel stress and you don't feel like this is way too much for one day um of things happening um but yeah quite possibly quite possibly i'm not sure <laughs> And number nine, that's the Tower of Nero, the fifth and final in the Trials of Apollo series, also by Rick Ryden, because <laughs> of course. And um, it has an average rating of 4.52, 44, 44, no, 42,198 ratings, 4,718 reviews. I'm not sure which one of these. Which one of the books in that series is my fave? It's quite possible it is that book 
I'm not gonna lie, because in the first part of that series, um, Apollo goes complains a lot about his flabby body because now he's not an, a god anymore he's a Im, immortal no he's he's mortal he's human um and he has to go through these trials of course um so in the first like part of the series he complains a lot about that and can get a bit too much it's like get over it <laughs> You look the way you look, it's fine. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm not sure. I've only read that series the one time. And I think I'm going to have to read it again to make up my mind about it. But, mm, yeah. I wouldn't say... I'm not sure I'd actually put the whole series in my best ever read. Um, because... There are loads more that's better than that series. I do really, really like Rick Ryden's books in general, though. So, mm, 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 mm. okay. <laughs> and in number 10, which I think we should end on as well, is The Name of the Wind, the first book in the King Con... King Con... Con the first book in the King Killer Chronicle by Patrick Rothfuss. It has an average rating of 4.52, 848,000, 860,000, no, 848,860 ratings, 48,627 reviews. Um, I haven't read any of the other books in that series yet, so, um, it's hard to like say for the series if that's my favorite one or not because it's the only one I've read. Wow. Again, I'm not sure I'd put it in like the best I've ever read. But it is good. It's good. So don't don't get me wrong there, but I'm not sure it tops other books I've read. Ooh. <laughs> it's so hard to to say conclusively that this is the absolute end all do all kind of a list because um it's all based on other people's reviews and ratings and um and stuff that well, people that have added on uh, ratings and such on Goodreads. So it's all based on that. Um, I do agree that most... Well, I, I do like all the books that was on this list. <laughs> As uh, I did not like all the books that was on the worst ever read. So that one made more sense in that way. Um... So I do like all the series. I mean, it makes sense because they were all very popular. So it, it has to be, it has to be like some some meaning behind that. Uh, but not necessarily my all time top fave. Now, saying that, I don't even know myself what my top ten or top twenty even favorite favorite books the series are so yeah <laughs> um thank you so much for watching i hope it was semi-entertaining um perhaps not but it was like a decent little look into um, the books I've read. I could probably go on for a bit, but also, yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.